क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम ई कीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स वी हैव सीन दैट इन केस ऑफ अनस्टेडी स्टेट हीट ट्रांसफर द लम टीट कैपेसिटी मेथड प्लेज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट रोल नाउ लेट एस लुक एट द लम टीट कैपेसिटी एनालिसिस इन द लम टीट कैपेसिटी एनालिसिस आई अगेन कंसिडर स्मॉल बॉडी लेट से द बॉडी इज केप्ट एट टी आई इनिशियली सो एट T equal to zero. When time was zero, the temperature of the body was T I. Now this body is kept under a surrounding where the surrounding temperature is having T infinity and the heat transfer coefficient of the surrounding is let's say H. Now before this, let us give the nomenclature to the body that we are going to see. Now this is the lumped heat capacity body. Now for this, you need to understand that the dT by dx is Almost negligible for the body. Now let's say the rho is the density of a given body, V is the volume, Cp is the specific heat, K is the thermal conductivity of the given body, and the Ti is obviously the initial temperature of a given body when T equal to zero. Now with this thing in our mind, we will assume that the Ti is greater than T infinity. means my body was hotter initially and that body is kept under a cooler surrounding if this is the case obviously the heat will be sent to the surrounding let's say the heat that is sent to the surrounding is q dash and now this heat as we have seen previously that in case of lumped heat capacity analysis the heat transfer rate is only by convection because the thermal resistance offered by convection itself is valid the thermal resistance offered by the conduction is negligible now what we are going to do we are going to apply a energy balance equation for this we know that the rate of heat transfer by convection that the amount of q dash of convection that is going to the surrounding is responsible to increase the internal energy of the body per unit time so basically we can mathematically write down this as q dash of convection is equal to change in internal energy per unit time now if you want to check the units they are same now this is here the q dash of convection is given in terms of kilowatt here also we are talking about energy per unit time that is kilojoule per second which must be kilowatt the negative sign which presents over here is responsible as the delta e that is the internal energy is always decreasing with increase in the time as the time increases as the time passes the value of delta e will keep on decreasing only now this delta e as we have seen in the thermodynamics is given as mcp delta t now here i have assumed that the my process is a constant pressure now not necessary that the process should be constant pressure it can be a constant volume process so you can simply write this as mc itself but for the simplicity and for the uh, better understanding i have written this as mcp delta t where my mass can be expressed as density into volume now if i write down all the other parameter we know that the q convection is given as by newton's law of cooling as h a delta t where delta t is t minus t infinity where t is the instantaneous temperature so now t indicates the temperature at time t so it can be written as t t minus t infinity is equal to minus density into volume that is the mass into cp into dt upon time t now this time t i have tried to express for the infinitesimal small value so i can write this as dt by dt now this can be solved by the variable separation method now let us start doing it let us take this temperature parameter to the right hand side so what do we have we can write this as dt upon t minus t infinity say instead of writing t small t i will simply write this as t only is equal to now all the other parameter will come over here h a upon rho v cp with a negative sign into dt now this we are going to integrate 
with the limits. Now, if I want to integrate this, what will be the limits of integration? Obviously, time will be from 0 to some time t. And here my temperature will be, the limit will be from Ti, that is the initial temperature, to some temperature t at time small t. Now, if I want to solve this, if I want to solve this integral, it will be, obviously here I will be left with minus HA rho VCP into T. Now this is T minus 0, I can simply write this as T itself. And here 1 upon T, the integral of 1 upon T is ln of T minus T infinity. Now the limits will be from T i to T. So this if I want to solve will be ln of T minus T infinity upon T i minus T infinity is equal to minus H a upon rho V C P into T. Now this if I want to eliminate this logarithmic term I can write this as T minus T infinity upon T i minus T infinity as e raised to this entire term that is minus h a upon rho v c p now this can be said as the final expression now here we can find the temperature of a body at any given time t if I know all the other parameters such as the initial temperature of a body, the surrounding temperature, the heat transfer coefficient, density, volume, then specific heat and the area. Now further if you want to express then I can say that this rho v c p upon h a this itself is given as some time constant T star. So, this T star is nothing but time constant. We will be simplifying this further also. So, for a time being, this expression itself is good enough. We can conclude from this expression that we have achieved the temperature distribution where the temperature for a given body can be found out at any time t. Now that is it in this analysis. In this analysis, we have tried to find out the temperature distribution of a given body with the lumped capacity method. Thank you for watching this video. Please stay tuned with Ikeda and subscribe to Ikeda. Thank you.